Good morning, everyone. It is 8.42 a.m. I'm in Hillsboro, New Jersey at a facility picking up rejected aerosol cans. And I have to bring them to Morgantown, West Virginia for delivery 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm only about five and a, five hours and 45 minutes away. So I'll be pretty bored down there. I got to catch up on some schoolwork. So I have a lot of hours off. Truck stop's only 15 minutes from my delivery. So... That's good, and then I can boogie home, hopefully be home early, Friday. I gotta tear down a shed and a deck. I just got a dumpster put at my house this morning so I can tear that down and get rid of that. We're having some paperwork done in our yard. Anyway, yeah, I had to back into this tight dock here. I'll uh, I'll get a video of uh, around my truck here to, to show you how tight it was to get in here. It's like a semi-indoor dock kind of thing. It's got like doors here in front of me looks doesn't look like they've closed them in a hundred years but yeah i'm uh i guess we pick up yeah like uh aerosols that i guess customers wouldn't take or qc wouldn't take or they're damaged i don't know what it is but they label them put them in i just got to throw flam placards on no bulk and they give me the manifest over in the office i'm assuming when i'm done here i haven't got a red light yet i'm still green i've been here for let's see you have 8 hours and zero 22 minutes, minutes. I've been parked here and I still don't have a red light, so here's what it is. We'll figure it out, but uh, my truck's jiggling. I don't know. Anyway, I'll uh, let you guys know how long this takes and what the outcome is. TikTok, YouTube, whatnot. So, uh, once I get done, I will catch up with you guys before I leave. Well, it's 10.49 a.m. I got my paperwork loaded. I'm all placarded up. Flammable gas. I'm about to pull out of the facility here. We have five hours and 39 minutes. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys. I might stop somewhere for lunch, depending on how I feel. I might drive straight through to see down there. But uh, when I decide, guys will know. Catch you there.
there, there's nowhere to pull off. So I remember passing a welcome center up here, so <clears throat> I had to go back north, northbound, eastbound, northbound, I don't remember. Northbound. Yeah, I think this one's north and south. Anyway, I had to go northbound, back into Pennsylvania, turn around. It was only like 10, 15 minute trip. Not a big deal, but as I'm driving by, I see a bunch of spots open. I'm like, no way. So I got off exit one in Pennsylvania, and there's like this little rinky dink truck stop, a couple spots, and I pull in there, and those spots were being taken. So I'm like, crap, the whole truck's gonna come up the hill and take all the spots in the welcome center. So I had to boogie down, I came up here, and luckily there was a bunch of spots. There still is. So I'm thinking if I do this run again, I'm just gonna I think it sucks. I didn't have any food. There was no food here, so luckily I saved half my lunch. I ate a cold burger from my lunch. But uh, next time I know, I gotta grab something for here for dinner, for lunch, whatever time I get here. Dinner. So I won't, like, my most likely wouldn't get here before four o'clock. I have to stop, get some for dinner, and just come here and park that way. I know I have a spot, and it's literally 15 minutes from here. Just go down, get the exit 158 or something like that. The big bay moves right there, so it's convenient. There's bathrooms, not trucker bathrooms, and they're clean constantly. So this will be my spot from now on when I come here. I'm not running the risk of having to go to the pilot and turn around and come back, backtrack. So I'll just come here. I mean, the pilot's not worth it just to park in a truck stop. So. <clears throat> Technically, I don't have to get fuel to make it home, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go do what I do. Stop the first truck stop, top off, go home. Like I always think, hey, if I get stuck on the side of the road or something happens, I always want to have fuel in my truck. So that's the way I look at it. But anyway, I'm gonna roll out of here in about 10 minutes. And uh, I just did my pre-trip. I do stop. I'll let you guys know. I'll catch up with you later. 